All right, hey, what's good, what's good, what's good? Welcome to the inaugural episode, or maybe this is the first or second, depending on Drew, whatever, I don't know. Welcome to My Lows, My Highs. I just came up with that name, fucking enjoy it. We got the awesome Jade Nickel, Nicole. It looks like it's Nicole. spelled Nickel. How often do people spell your name or say your name say wrong? Say your name all the time. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's, I bet Conan O'Brien would have done it too. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it's um, well the, the story behind it. If we're gonna elaborate on that. Elaborate. So my mom, she um, her maiden name is Nickel, like like the coin, like it's spelled like the coin, and I see K E O L. Um, Wait, it's actually Nickel? Yeah, her maiden name is Nickel. And so when she married my dad, they had me. She wanted to keep her family name and all my name somehow since I was already going to get my dad's last name. And she like Jade, whatever. So she's like, I'll name her Jade Nicole, but I'll spell it N-I-C-K-O-L to keep that like Nickel spelling vibes in it. So wow. it's pronounced Nicole. It's pronounced Nicole, but it's just, it's spelled like Nicole. That's a lot deeper than I thought. It's a very, I love, it's an uh, interesting story. I thought that'd be like a quick, like a, uh, but yo, okay, yeah, wow. it's but, a family thing. All right, so you released your project, Murphy's Law. I did. And like, we've seen all those pictures and lying her old songs. Hella people reposted it. Not really, but okay. <laughs> you don't think so? No. How do you feel about that record overall, creatively um, first? Creatively, I feel like it was a good start, definitely. And I really had a big say, my most proud of, thing of it was probably the name of it because at first they really wanted me to have a self and self-titled uh ep which i am not the biggest fan of personally i just think you know creates yeah, really like in it either. so which it works for some people it just doesn't work for others drew do you self-title so what no. do you self-title shit yes yeah. not self-title okay i don't self-title even, i mean it has my name in it but it's not me like, yeah but yeah. but murphy's law i've been going back and forth with names for a while. First, it was gonna be excerpts from songs I'll never write. That's hella long. Yo, that's a pretty dope ass title though. <laughs> Thank you. I can have that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't have it. Maybe. That's we'll talk later. Okay. How much you gonna pay me for it? Seven hundred sixty-nine thousand four hundred and sixty-six <laughs> compliments. All right, sure, sure, you can have it. It just was really long to fit onto a um, an album cover. So I was literally in the Walmart parking lot one night waiting for my Hey look, people in the background, you know. Sorry, sorry. Dude, I know. That's <laughs> audience. Studio audience needs a hush. Studio audience. Dude, that's your class. So can we go by that second title again? Sorry, yes. Um, Existential expressions of eloquent. <laughs> it was um, <laughs> excerpts from songs I'll never write. Oh, okay. That sounds dope as hell. It's dope, but it just was too long to fit on an album cover. And so I was sitting in the Walmart parking lot one night, and it was literally in February, just this past year, and I thought, have you seen the movie Interstellar? If you've ever seen that movie. I've heard well, of it. in the movie, one of the big prevalent kind of themes in it and sayings, motifs is Murphy's Law, which is this kind of law made up thing that anything that can go wrong will go wrong. And so, so you were down when you wrote this? Oh, definitely. It sounds, yeah. The whole album, except one song, is about the same person. Who was that person? I'm not going to say. What was the disclaimer earlier? No. Okay, no. Nah. <laughs> no? You there's, say? Okay, okay, there's limits. There's limits. Oh, there's limits. Okay. I like to keep it a secret. So it was a heartbroken record. Yes. And you got over it after that, or are you still dealing with it? Um, I would say still dealing with it. Damn. Yeah, there might just be a part two. <laughs> You're gonna do a two? You're gonna do a part two? I have committed to an album with the label I'm with, and we start production pretty soon. So, um, tell I'm us about that label. Um, I'm with State Fair Records. It's a local indie label based out of Dallas. Um, it's I literally was like a um, something out of a movie. I went to Drew's open mic about a year ago, and at Tudas for the first time I ever met him all that shebang. And there so happened to be a... <laughs> there just so happened to be one of the uh, owners, producers of the label was ordering a pizza and happened to be sitting there. He was ordering a pizza? Yeah, and he heard me and he was just like... Uh, he literally like, came up to me after I was done, slapped a card on the table and said, I'm with a label, I want you to call me on Monday. And I was like, okay, I'll think about it. Because I didn't want to, you know, sound like you know, because there's scams a lot, you know? Yeah. And he just said, no, call me. And I was like, okay. 
So I went from there. I met with them. I met with him. I then met with the other two owners of the label, and it just went from there. But I didn't get signed officially on the dotted line until this past March. Exciting day. Very exciting. Life changing. Yeah. And you're happy with them, obviously. Definitely. You speak They've been very, you. very good to me so far, and I expect good things. <laughs> How did you yeah. feel like the promotion was for Murphy's Law for yourself? Did you feel like I think I did all right. I think especially for someone that has, hadn't really released anything and it's kind of a didn't really have much to my name yet. I think it was all right. I Big think boost. it put me a little more on the map. So. And you enjoy the project still, listening wise? <laughs> um. Yeah. You kind of heard it a million times. I've heard it a million times. You perform and a million I've times. <laughs> you do perform a lot. You perform really? a lot, yo. Thank you. Yeah. How do you, you still get excitement out of performing? Definitely. Yeah. Especially the bigger gigs like Box Garden, Rustic. Those are. Look at you. Look at me. Look at you. Look yeah. Light stuff right there. But even the smaller stuff. I, hey, always, I get to do what I love for a living, which a lot of people don't get to do. And yeah. So I hope to be able to do that for the rest of my life. So this is what you live on? Mm -hmm. Damn. That's awesome. Thank you. Are you confident? Um, at times, yeah. I think always as artists, we are very sensitive. Yeah. And um, yeah. really take things to heart. And so, you know, so, yeah. stuff will get you down every Shit hits, in a while, Somebody makes you sad and just hits you like a yeah. ton of bricks. And like I said, I think as artists, we just feel everything very deeply. Yeah. And um, so whether that's, you know, relationship stuff or career stuff, like... Yeah, it just, it all hits deeply. And you're 19 going on 20? Mm-hmm. I'll turn 20 in May. Oh, okay. Relationships hitting you pretty deep right now at your age. Yeah, it really yeah. is. Yeah, and, I know. Um, yeah, 19 was some of my worst. Yeah. Ain't it. You know? uh, <laughs> <laughs> They can uh, suck at times. Hey, but you know you have a lot of problems. You probably have a lot of men followers. <laughs> so they're probably all hurt right now. You just, like, your demographic just probably shot down. That was really loud, Drew. Jade hates men. Oh, Tony, sorry. don't make loud noises. God damn it. That was Tony really is loud. Always, I know, that was Tony. I don't think so. Yeah, look at him. He looks guilty as fuck. I don't think so. I think that was He looks pretty guilty. <laughs> Bro. So, you want to be a big star? No. I want to take my career as far as it can go, whether that's doing the gigs I'm doing now for the rest of my life, or let's say Philly Madison Square Garden. I'm good with either. But I just want to be able to do what I love for a living. So, I don't have a goal or expectations of myself or the label or people that have helped me to get me to a certain place. I just kind of take it as far as I can, and whoever that is, it is. What is the day? Without you working on anything, look like what do you do? Boring. Um, Are you want to lay in the bed, watch movies all day, type of girl? I actually don't. I hate being alone. Actually, um, that's Word. something I've been in the past six, eight months. I have just really not like being alone. And so, at all? Yeah, Ever? At all? I really love it. Oh, Sam, why is that? That's um, interesting. you know, I don't really know, but all I know is that I'm trying to like kind of get through it work my way through it because you have to be okay with that. I love being alone. <laughs> that's great for you. It's amazing. I'm how that's it, I hope to be like that too. That's when you get to get into your like uh mad professor shit. Okay. Remember that. At okay. least for me. Yeah, sure. just when you get to get into your like Sure. Your, no, when you're alone and you just like getting your own I'm sure you, you definitely get in your feelings. Oh I, I definitely. know you get in your feelings. Oh yeah. My Say, music alone just shares yeah. that right there. Yeah. I wrote a song yesterday and cried all through it. So um Oh, That's how you know you wrote a good song when you cry as you're singing it. And Let's I did that. that yesterday. Let's hear it. Do you want to hear it? Give us a quick snippet. Oh, I can't. I don't have a guitar with me. I don't have oh. a perfect pitch. So I've got a guitar. You have a guitar? I've got a guitar. Hey, that's the guy who was supposed to join us. Yeah. What's his name? Nobody, but I'll bring a guitar for you. If you want. I can sing you a little bit from it. So you're working on a new a new record too. I am working am on I a new album. I, I am working on a new album. I'm verbally committed with the Scott head That's of the That's what you said earlier, yeah. Yeah, though no, I am and I'm going to be releasing an album. I don't really know when. We haven't really even started production on it yet. What are you gonna talk about? What do you mean? On this album. I don't know. Stuff I go through, things I feel. Kind of the same. I'm not really a conceptual is that, person. Oh, the song you were crying right into, that's going on the album probably. I don't know yet. I haven't fully finished it yet. I don't know if I fully like it yet. Um, so far, there's only about one or two songs that I um, really want to decide on the stage. Okay, 
Yeah. You're not like other artists that I meet. You're just like, fuck it, I'm gonna play this shit. <laughs> like, there's no fear, Jay. Look, you're just like. Sure, I'll play a song. I'll play a song. Where does that confidence come from? Uh, nowhere. I'm really not that confident, actually. In your music ability, though, in your music, I'm saying, it's like the confidence in knowing that you're talented. Um. At least that's the belief. Or maybe Drino. Come on, Drew. Come on, Drew. So this stuff I don't know, right? He's inside joking me, laughing. I really don't know what he's doing, actually. He's just, do you ever troll? Troll? No, definitely. Yeah, he be trolling. I am confident in the fact that I know what I feel. And yeah. When I feel it. I like to put it to music, and I want to put it out to the world. And I don't have any regrets in doing that, no matter who hears or what hears or what people think, because overall it's art. So. Um, I fuck with that. Jay. You know. Yeah. You feel? Cool. I feel you. Let's hear. We're gonna get a snippet. You know. So. Jay Nickel. Oh my God. Milo's, my highs. It's Nicole. It's oh. Guest on the show that is first like, off, I've done my research. Have you? Yeah. You can't even pronounce my name right. It's spelled N I C K O L. Yeah. Milo, he's high. Not Milo, my high. Mom, Milo, I'm not high. high. Mom, I don't smoke marijuana. <laughs> oh, <Okay>. job. <laughs> All right, sorry. Dog it. Um, Nicole. Nicole. Jade Nicole. That's me. I won't forget again. I'm, I doubt that. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, Drew, can you bring me my phone? So if she's gonna play this, I'm gonna go take a piss. I'll be right. You can keep <laughs> I can tell you. Everybody's trying to figure out when Jade's next gig is. Come see me. Come see me. Cool. Let me pull up my website. Sing a Drake song. What's your favorite? I don't know what Drake song. Come I'll be on Lynch Song Ranch this Sunday from four to six. Okay. I'm hosting Tudas Open Mic um, next week. November mm, six. Tudas. They don't like me. Oh, they don't. No. I know, huh? Well, they, they like me. They don't like the people I brought with I'm me. I'm singing the national anthem Saturday, November 9th at Trinity River. Oh, that's big. But the next big thing everybody could come to is the Rustic November 19th. That's dope, yo. Jay living the life. Hey, okay. I taught you all those hand movements. Okay, cool. Do you mind putting Drew in your interview? <laughs> no, okay, I won't put him in. I won't put him in. Okay, yeah, sorry, Drew, you missed out. Tony. Okay, so I wrote the song yesterday, and I don't have a name for it yet. And I haven't really finished it, but it's kind of a dosage yeah. of my new. Why do you know that? Don't worry. It's okay. They'll be joined out. You feel good? Oh, we will. We'll interview. Let's get a He's a great rapper. Really? Put some stuff over here. Go ahead, Jay. We got you. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Listen up, baby. I know I've done this before. This time it's not maybe I'm leaving and I'm slamming the door On what we could have been But you just couldn't choose You wanted me close But only when it's convenient for you You hmm. You Fuck being friends You know we were friends Friends don't do Facebook page, Jane Nicole, and Twitter, nobody follows me on Twitter, but 
J Nicole underscore. Why aren't you guys following her on Twitter? Did Apparently, you not just Twitter's hear that? dead. Which Bro, I you don't, don't even use a Twitter, Alex. I don't. Yeah, nobody <laughs> uses Twitter, but I do. So if you do, if you're one of the few, follow me on Twitter. So okay, that song was intense but amazing. Thank you. You can sing, fam. You could do a lot. You're super talented. Thank you. Oh, I was definitely inspired by this artist, Jessie Reyes. I've been really into her lately. She has a song with Eminem. Yes, she does. Um, I was inspired by her song, Figures, which I cover all the time. So that's and, one of your biggest inspirations? Um, she's not one of my biggest, but she's definitely one. Who are some of your biggest? Um, Taylor Swift, definitely. Her writing. She's an amazing writer. My favorite song of all time is All Too Well by her. I've never heard it. Oh my god, go listen to it. Bam. Blank Space is better. Okay, Blank Space is good. Can you sing that? No. I don't know how to play it. <laughs> show you incredible things. Give me that guitar, let me show you. No, I'll just play it. <laughs> just play I, it. I know the song, it. but um, Taylor Swift. Um, shoot. Uh, definitely. Oh, Billie Eilish. I've been obsessed with Billie Eilish. What do you like about her? Um, her style, definitely. Her music is different. It's pop. It's today's radio pop, but it's just something so different. You love pop. Um, I like I like all music, but I definitely probably gravitate more towards I'm going to ask you names, and you're going to tell me in like a sentence how you feel about them. Okay. Lady Gaga. Amazing. Kanye West. Controversial. DMX. I don't know DMX. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Pink. I think of feminine. Feminist, feministic qualities. Drake. Catchy. Drew. Like that Drew? Yeah. Um... Credentials. Milo. Pretty cool. Yeah. That's the vibe I go on? Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Will Smith. Um, legend. Oh, I'm so Who's sorry about that. Who's your best friend? My best friend? Yeah. I have a bunch of friends. I don't really have a best friend. You have just a group of best friends? Kind of ish. You guys have deep ass conversations? Sometimes we do. Sometimes? Sometimes we do. About boys. Boys. What's your favorite cartoon? Um, Spongebob. I haven't really watched Very cartoons cool. in a minute, but I was, I'm always down to watch Spongebob. So. You don't watch TV? Not really. No. Not cable. So what do you do? Uh, if I watch there? something, I watch Netflix or Amazon Prime. <laughs> what are you born? What? What are you born? When's your birthday? May 1st. Damn, you're barely 19. Though. I am, I'm actually 19 and a half. Because it's May 1st, it's the beginning of the month. You're your child, Okay. Uh, I didn't mean, like that. You saw that? I mean, it's not untrue. Jay goes off on Milo. Like, whoa, yeah, bro. Like TMZ. <laughs> Jay went off on Milo. No, I mean, I'm adult. I'm an adult, technically. But, no, I know in many ways I'm still a kid. I'm emotionally very young. I'm, you know, mentally probably my cerebral cortex or whatever is still developing. Until <laughs> so I'm 25. But the cortex is still I think it's called that. I don't know. I just know it's a part of your brain that doesn't fully develop until yeah. you're 25. Yeah. I use that in the bar today. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know <laughs> it. Real, yeah. But um, yeah. So I, in many ways, yeah, I'm definitely young. And I feel way too deeply, and I feel I'm that impulsive. Way too. I'm very impulsive, and I probably don't always make the best decisions for myself. But are you happy at the moment in life? It's a really good question. Yeah, no? I think overall, yeah. You sure? No. <laughs> that was a great answer, actually. That's like everybody right there. Yeah, like, I think it's like everybody. Because if you ask somebody, like, are you okay? It's like, I guess. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, maybe. I'm breathing. Today I'll be I'm breathing. five minutes from now. Um, are you one of those people who, when you're having a conversation with somebody, a criticism or a critique from them can kind of like, shake you up a little bit. Oh, definitely. I hate it. Kind of like I said, I think as artists, we're definitely very sensitive. We feel everything deeply. It sucks, right? And I think even an artist, as an artist, a musician, even a painter, whatever, anything in the arts, or even anything in the world, you know, you can give 5,000 compliments, but one, you know, negative phrase will, Don, you just, forget all about the compliments, it, and you just dwell on it. it you dwell and, I'm and dwell. I am definitely like that. I've gotten, you know, negative criticism or stuff I didn't feel what like. They, what is the negative criticism that you've heard about your music that um, hits you the hardest? That's a good question, actually. Never really thought about it. Um, 
Like somebody flat out been like, Jade, you okay, can't sing. Okay, probably nothing. Anyone said it's stuff that's been done. What's been done? Um, I really thought I'd get nominated for some awards this season. Oh, from Dallas? Yeah, and I didn't. <laughs> and then there was a list that came out a few weeks ago, the NPR 20, and I did not get on it. And that really... I feel it, it made sucks, me think right? I wasn't, I, no, I hadn't made any strides this year, which I felt I really had. So. You saying that, um, like, gave me a rise because I feel the same way, at least in my side. It's okay. like, they know what I'm doing, but they choose to pick it's selected a, people. I mean, it's poli all politics, even if you go up to the Grammys, it's all politics. And, and it sucks with you being signed because it's like... <coughs> God. Bless God you. Bless Thank you. you. I gotta go blow my nose, but my allergies are killing me. You got me holding this camera. I can't Thank move. You. What time and was finna have to fight me? It's been 16 good. minutes. Oh, okay. We're yeah, so done. that's that's five, 16 dollars. I want to keep going, but okay. I'll, keep talking. Yeah. Even now. We don't have I'll to. I'll give you some. I'll give you some, like, something, man. Just be just be happy. Yeah. Um, Your phone on anyway. 10 percent. Um, what is it? 10 percent. It's cool. It'll just you know, iPhones die quick. Let it let it get to like. Okay. Uh, yes. Like um, I know what you're saying though. Yeah. And um, I hate it. I hate it's definitely it. difficult, and it's just I think everybody has it. Every artist, when you feel really, when you just feel so deeply, anything gets to you really deeply. Whether it's happiness or sadness. How do you feel like you're supported by your audience? I think pretty well. Yeah. Usually, I mean, the negative stuff and the things that bring me down are very few and far between. I'll be honest. So. Yeah. And I have a lot of support. I think my parents definitely, they've always supported me, and it's been a huge thing, I think, in any person's life. If you want to go anywhere with anything, to have your parents' support. And I, my parents have supported me in every endeavor I've gone on. I started vocal lessons when I was nine. Um, I was an acting, and I did cheerleading. I did everything, and they supported it 100% all the way. And so did Lil Stoney. But I need, and to, so did Big I need Milo. to borrow it. For a minute. See you in a little bit started. Goodbye. Started <laughs> yeah. at nine. I start well, I started singing on stage when I was about seven. It was the first time I sang on stage. Wow. And then I got with a vocal coach when I was nine. Okay. Just kept going and going. And I kept training and I think that's a huge thing that um So you train a lot? Um, I don't take vocal lessons at the moment right now. I quit about two years ago. I got to a point where what I knew was enough for what I'm doing. Um, but that's a huge thing I think some people don't, they, they see me and they may think that, that, yeah, I put a lot of work into it, a lot of money in these, well, I went to three different music schools um, in this, and you can have natural talent, but if you don't rein it in and hone it in and figure out how to use it, it's, um, it's, just, it's very hard to go anywhere. The people that hone it in and work hard and have the natural talent, I think, is that really do stuff. And that's, great advice. that's what I'm trying to do. It's great advice. I needed to hear that too. Never Thank you. There's nothing wrong with saying you went and trained yourself. Jay, yeah. you're the shit. I try to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I try. All right, kid rock. <laughs> I, I do it all with the well, that's Fred Durst. I try to be as much as I can. Yeah, how did you hit that so like clean? Ah, uh, it's just like, in me, bro. It's all good. It's in me. Yo, rocket power it's vibes. It's man. Yeah. I was born. I came out of the moon doing that. Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, okay. What do you want people to know about you when it's all over for you? What's the one thing you want to be remembered for? Um, that I was relatable, that I could relate with somebody in some situation, what I wrote about, that they felt they're not alone, you know? Because I feel like, especially my demographic, which is more younger people, teenagers my age, you know, we always feel very alone in our feelings and everything feels like the end of the world. Yeah. You know it's not, but in your heart, you it feels feel it. Like it's it. And so, that could be a magical I, feeling if you use it right. It can be, oh definitely, yeah. but most of the time it's not, at least in it's my case it has been. But, it but you know, been. I think that's all I want people to take from a music is somebody to just have, be able to like think, oh my god, I'm not alone, like god, okay, I'm not crazy, this has happened to other people, or they've been felt this way, it's not wrong to feel it, it's normal to feel it, you know, like, because that's something I really admire, so. Yeah, that's what I want people to do. So you're speaking up for people who don't have a voice. Kind of, yeah, yeah. I just don't feel like, yeah, they can. So you ever going to cross over into hip-hop? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, never say never. Never say never. I would love to hear you on, like, 
the whole just everything. All right. I think we'll that, see. I think that, that you would just. Kill. I think when I have my magnum opus, I would love to do something that includes everything. So yeah. You're gonna make it. I think so. Well, thank you. I just stay humble at the heart. I definitely am. <laughs> Don't be when like. When shit like NPR's top twenty yeah. list comes out, that like. Then your Humble, twins are like, popping. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be, yeah. So. Please say controversial shit all the time. Thank you. Yeah. I do, I definitely like to do that. If I can't do it in my words, do it in my music. Like I said, be. Oof. Be shameless about it and just, you know, write your truth. Write. There's this quote by Ernest Hemingway that says, write clear and true about what hurts. You know, don't don't be merciless. Merciless. Merciful. Merciless. But okay. yeah, and I really liked that quote, so. Uh, I well, to buy it. All right, good. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. it was nice talking to you. <laughs> nice talking Anything to you else too. you want, you know, the audience, the people out on the internet, <laughs> digging into this shit to know? Um, go stream my EP. It's on all music streaming platforms: iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music, Murphy's Law, Jade Nicole. Yeah, follow me too. Milo Ramora, don't follow me. <laughs> follow him. Don't like me. No, I'm just playing. Follow me. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us for either the first or second episode of My Lows and My Highs. Peace. This fool rapping over Atlantis Morris there. It's flowing, Murphy's Law 2? The sequel. Murphy's Law 2. Jay strikes back. Look at that. Jade strikes back. <laughs> I'd have to be in Rome. Right, there's Allegra. And here's some Claritine. I feel partly responsible. I feel like something in my place you're allergic to. Something His eyes are definitely red. Like, yeah, you're, yeah, it's That's getting, sweet. yeah. You yeah, look you're different right. than when you walked in. My boy, so my man. You look different than when you walked in. My guy, <laughs> are you okay? How was your first interview with Milo? Pretty great. Milo's. Yeah. Is Milo a good interviewer? Or like, am I getting better at it? Milo's and high lows. Wait. Milo's and high my lows, my highs. <laughs> <laughs> high lows, highs and lows. Highs and lows and highs and lows. And and lows, and lows. And highs, uh, come on, Drew, give me another one. <laughs> I, just, I told you I didn't want to be in front of the camera. What's it feel like being signed? Tasha heard. Were you giving me PC uh, responses to getting signed, or do you have problems with the label? No, not at all. She's got a great label, actually. The guy that runs it, I gotta just. I'm not gonna put this part. Honestly, you can't. Yeah, all my freaking owner of my label got him drunk at my EP release. Oh, totally. At her EP release, he got me shit faced.